Hey guys, we have an iPhone XS Max sent in here from Yarrow in Oakville, Ontario. Uh, he says he was just using the phone and then it just died randomly one day. He took it to shops in his area and they were unable to solve the issue. We'll get started on the repair here. We'll start by hooking this phone up to uh, DC power and seeing um, what kind of amperage it is drawing. So the moment we output voltage, we're getting 270 milliamps. So that means there is a, um, a short somewhere on the board and uh, we're gonna just feel around and see if uh, by chance the short is on the uh, outside of the board and we don't have to separate yeah i don't uh, feel anything so we're going to grab our heating fixture put the board in and turn it on give it a couple minutes to heat up and we'll separate the top and bottom board what we're trying to do here is isolate the short. So once the top board is disconnected from the bottom board, we'll hook it up to DC power again and see if the short still exists. If it doesn't, then we know the short is isolated to the bottom board. We can diagnose from there. All right, let's uh, carefully separate the top board here. All done. this up with just the top board so uh, no short so that means um, our problem is definitely on this bottom board here so let's take a look under the microscope quick visual inspection see if anything looks out of place so off the bat can't see anything obvious we're gonna open board view here for iPhone XS Max so we can measure here on C405. Okay, so the short is on VDD main, which is usually the case. Everything looks fine. So let's go ahead and inject a voltage. And we'll switch to the microscope view and uh, install jumper line. All right, we have our jumper line uh, connected. Injecting voltage now. So we saw over on the right side of the board, something was heating up there. So something over here was lighting up. These two caps on VCC main, which are most likely one of those two is going to be our culprit. Oh, the big guy took the little guy with him. That's fine. Okay. Now we can take a measurement and see if our short is relieved. So one of those two caps was the problem. We don't need to worry about replacing either of them. There are so many caps on VDD main that it is not necessary. And in this case, all the caps look fine. So we injected voltage with the thermal camera, found the short in the upper right section of the board and just removed both caps. All right, so now that uh, we've removed the short, grab our testing jig and See if the phone is working. Uh, we won't be able to test the uh, touch, but we'll make sure the phone boots up and gets to the passcode screen, and then we know that the repair was successful. Output voltage and prompt to boot. So we get an Apple logo. And it, um, okay. All right, just hook up the, uh, Charge port and battery. Prop to boot. Let's see what we get. We just want to make sure we can boot up to the operating system. Perfect. Uh, so the brightness is uh, low, uh, but it did boot up. Uh, so this repair is complete. Next steps will be soldering the top and bottom board back together, do some final tests, and then get this phone shipped back to the customer. Um, I hope you learned something. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.